we want to eliminate the parameter t to write a Cartesian equation for y as a function of x. Before we do this, notice we have x of t equals two times the square root of t. Since this t is underneath the square root, notice that t has to be greater than or equal to zero. This will affect the domain of our Cartesian equation. Next, let's go ahead and rewrite these equations as x equals two square root t and y equals five t minus three. So because we want an equation for y as a function of x, we want to solve the first equation for t and then perform a substitution and then perform a substitution into the second equation. So looking at this first equation, to solve this for t, the first step would be to divide both sides by two. So we'd have x divided by two equals the square root of t. And now we would square both sides of the equation to solve for t. So now we have t equals, this would be x squared over four, which means now we can substitute x squared divided by four for t in the second equation. And this will eliminate the parameter t. We're gonna have y equals five times x squared over four minus three. So y as a function of x is y equals five fourths x squared minus three. So if we were to graph this, we might think it's gonna be a parabola, but that's why we have to be aware of the domain of our parametric equations, which is t is greater than or equal to zero. Well, if t is greater than or equal to zero, notice that x also has to be greater than or equal to zero, which means for our Cartesian equation, which means for our Cartesian equation, we should state the domain will be when x is greater than or equal to zero. So if we were to graph this, it's actually only going to be half a parabola as we see here. This is the graph of y equals five fourths x squared minus three, where the domain is x is greater than or equal to zero. Looking at the graph, notice how we have a y-intercept of negative three, but more importantly, we only graph the parabola when x is greater than or equal to zero. So it is important to pay attention to the domain of the parametric equations, as well as how that affects the domain of the Cartesian equation. I hope you found this helpful.